Hello and welcome to RSA 2023 in San Francisco. My name's Chris Cubbage, I'm the editor with the Australian Cyber Security Magazine. I've got Dave Gary, the CEO with Bug Crowd, and Nick McKenzie, the Chief Information Security Officer with Bug Crowd. That's right. Gents, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yes. Uh, it's a beautiful San Francisco sunny day. It is. Tell us a bit about Bug Crowd. You've got a big presence here. We do. Uh, and some announcements as well this week. We do, so super exciting show for us. Uh, we love coming to RSA, and you know, this one really feels like we're getting back to normal. A lot of electricity, Absolutely. a lot of buzz, a lot of excitement. So heading into this show, uh, we announced pen testing as a service, but the ability to do that in a much easier and simpler way. Customers can now go to our website, couple clicks, buy pen testing, first ever for the industry, and be able to deploy tests in an incredibly quick and cost-efficient manner. Really excited about how this can help serve kind of downstream SMB markets and start to democratize access for security testing for all. So Bug Crowd, as you know really well, is the leading platform for crowdsource security testing. So we help take this amazing security researcher community, pair that with the right customer in the right program at the right time to deliver amazing results on behalf of our customers and then our customers' customers. So. Super excited to be here, great to be part of the RSA show, and really grateful you let us come and spend some time with you well, today. Good. Now, this is your first RSA as CEO, would that be right? It is, okay. it is, yeah, How it's been a busy week. How are you finding the role? You're, you're still finding your feet, do you think? I am, you know, I'm lucky to have a great leadership team side by side and great partners in the business, and again, it's, it's an amazing time to be a part of Bug Crowd, right? Yeah. We have a ton of momentum in the space. This industry is growing faster than we've ever seen before. The, the rush to digital transformation over the last three years has really exponentially increased the threat landscape and the perimeter that our customers are facing, and we yeah. get to play a really exciting role in helping them to secure the future of their business and, and drive forward better security practices, and that's where guys like Nick start to come in yeah. and, and be able to partner with him in region, and, and we're excited to, to do more together. Well, I suppose that's a good segue, thank you for that. And your, your staff speak very highly of you as well, Dave. Oh, that's so nice, I will I'll, I'll, I'll bribe that. them later. Absolutely, <laughs> but yes, uh, they will pay, obviously. Right. Uh, now, Nick, the CISO role, and you, we, we, we had a chat last night. We did. So, um, you're client facing as well, as well as the CISO for Bug Crowd itself. Right which has, has another layer of responsibility on it, I suppose, when you are working for a bug bounty <laughs> company. Um, what's your general advice to, to CISOs currently? Most, I would imagine, enterprise should have some sort of sort of bug bounty pen testing program going. Uh, do you find the, the circumstances of the market changing at all, pretty consistent? And, and generally, what's your advice for CISOs uh, in this domain? Well, we're definitely seeing an uptake on the, the, the whole vulnerability disclosure in the bug bounty market, uh, particularly in, in Asia as well. Um, so the, the thought process with a lot of the CISOs that I sort of talk to is, is their journey towards continuous assurance, right? They have processes in place to do things like traditional pen testing and have other controls and processes internally in their organisations to, to do tests of different varieties. Yep. But that movement, I suppose, to more the continuous model which is what we offer in terms of disclosures and bug bounties, is definitely something that's uh, happening a lot more in, in regions. How do they go about budgeting it? You know, because sometimes you don't know what it might cost. Yep. Uh, yeah, so how, how would they kind of, from a business planning perspective, how would they approach it? We traditionally, um, we sit down with them and, and scope out costs and, and what's, in, what's in scope in terms of targets, what the, the bug bounty uh, amount is or the pool yep. of rewards. Uh, but that's the thing about our model, right? It's it's more pay for impact versus your, your traditional, I suppose, pen testing, which is pay for, for time and assessment. Um, but we talk the customers through, each customer's unique yeah. in terms of what their requirements are. Uh, some have a massive attack surface. Uh, and then in the SMB market, sometimes it's, you know, like a, a tech player that might only have one or two uh, targets that are in scope. But each each customer just gets briefed. We walk them through the process of, Right, this is what we think good looks like, yep. uh, and we cost it up accordingly. Uh, that's that's kind of your benchmark these days, isn't it? Good, like if we can be good. Uh, <laughs> we're the I've best. Heard that one before. We're the best. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm no bug bug crowds. Obviously, the best. What are some of the numbers on 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 you guys in terms of how many researchers you might have? Yeah. Uh, and also client profiles. I think we were talking about some client profiles yesterday. You're across very um, a lot of the verticals in terms of key market that's segments. Right. 
Uh, yeah, just your general numbers uh, for the business. Yeah, so from a, from a customer standpoint, what's really cool about this platform and this market is we really are cross-vertical and cross-segment, right? So we have organizations that are some of the largest financial services institutions in the world, and then we also have really small SMB clients, right? And they're leveraging the same technology, the same crowd, the same platform. From a crowd engagement standpoint, we continue to see more and more researchers joining the platform. We continue to see a tremendous amount of growth there. As a business ourselves, we're going to be adding almost 80 employees to the business this year. A lot right. of those coming in APAC, as Nick alluded to, that's our fastest growing market. We're, we're investing really heavily in the APAC market. We're excited to be there at Black Hat Asia coming up in a few weeks. Hopefully yep. we'll get to see you again. Uh, and as we look at kind of how the business is coming together and growing, even in these times of macro uncertainty, we're still continuing to see security budgets increase. We're seeing this become increasingly more important to our customers and helping them drive the right outcomes. And as we saw a few weeks ago, OpenAI announced that they had selected Bug Crowd as, as their preferred vendor for Bug Bounty. So we're yep. seeing a tremendous amount of excitement here at the show, uh, but more broadly across, uh, across the industry as well. So we're excited to be, again, great time to be here at Bug Crowd and a lot of uh, a lot of momentum. Yeah, I would say that that would be a call to action from the audience perspective. Just keep an eye out for right. those announcements that come out when you That's see right. uh, you know bug bug uh, bug crowd being allocated uh, that, that kind of work as well. Look, uh, Dave, Gary, That's the right. CEO with Bug Crowd, <laughs> Nick McKenzie, a Perth boy too. So it's great That's to it. have two Perth guys here in yeah. San Francisco. <laughs> it's rare. Uh, you're the CISO with Bug Crowd, uh, and that's a great, great uh, sort of title to have. Uh, accolades to you, uh, and best of success for the rest of RSA, which is only a few hours to go. So thank, thank you very much. Good. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Really thank you. It. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.